So now we're going to do a quick Dell PowerProtect Cyber Recovery uh, demonstration. Uh, in the dashboard, uh, we can see that the vault is locked and air gapped. This is providing isolation from the network so it can't be accessed. This can only be opened from within the vault itself. Under policies, we can see that there is already a policy in place for Networker, which is our backup application in this case. And this is copying backups from the production data domain into the vault data domain. We can see that there is already a copy within the vault and this copy is a good copy. So it's already been analyzed uh, and it has found that there's no compromised data within that. We can also see that it is um, not locked, so it's not an immutable copy, and we have the option to delete it. What we can do if we want to make it immutable is just click on uh, the lock, and that will now make this a locked backup now. So we can see that it's got the lock sign on it, so it's immutable. It cannot be deleted any, more, any longer. Uh, under policies, we can do a, a number of actions here. Now, these can be scheduled. In this case, we're just going to run this manually and we're going to run a secure copy. And what that is going to do is that that is going to connect into the uh, production environment, open the air gap up, find the latest backup, pull the copy of that into the vault. And then once it's in the vault, it'll create a copy and unlock that copy down. So if we go to dashboard, we should be able to see that the, um, the air gap is open and it started off that process. We can now see that the vault is um, uh, has completed the sync and has automatically locked the vault and secured it again from the network. We can now uh, run analytics on this copy. So we can see there's another copy in the vault now that is already locked. We can uh, run some analytics on this using our uh, an analytics engine, CyberSense, and this adds in the intelligence into the solution. Now we can see that our copy, new copy has been flagged as being suspicious. Um, we can go into uh, CyberSense and actually run a query and find out which, which files have actually been compromised. If we want to run a recovery, we simply need to um, recover the um, backup application first and recover that from the actual good copy that we have. And what it will do is it will recover the backup application into a sandbox, isolated sandbox environment. And once that backup application has been recovered, then you can just go through your, your normal um, recovery process to reboot up the application, backup application, and search through it for the files or the backups, um, particular um, application that you want to recover. So we can see that it is now recovering into that sandbox environment. And once it is fully recovered, we can then recover uh, our files or applications. So that is the, um, the end of the demonstration.